Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, how are you today? It's great to see you all. We are from Group One, and let me introduce myself and my partner. I am Nidia Ivania Nabila, and my partner there are Onerizki Putri, Putri Kurnia Oktaviani, and Putri Maldia. Well, today we are going to discuss about our PMC's product. But first, let me explain about what is PMC. So, the business model canvas PMC is a strategic management tool to quickly and easily define and communicate a business idea or concept. And why we use it? So, we use PMC to quickly draw a picture of the detail, what the idea entails, it allows us to get understanding of our business and to go through the process of making connection between what our idea is and how to make it into a business. Let's look at what kind of customer decision influence the use of our system. And it allow everyone to get a clear idea of what the business will likely be. Our product is an application that we name Pontur. This is an abbreviation of Pencokusomo Tour. This application was created to introduce tours in the Pencokusuma area as well as to make it easier for tourists to travel to the Pencokusuma area. And for the next slide will be explained by my partner. Thank you. Okay, why do we create this application? Pencoku Sumo currently has a variety of interesting tourist attractions including CSS, Tonyu Biru, Lodok Ombo, Jepang Bidadari, Jepang Pelangi, Jepang Wakil, etc. However, due to the lack of variety of tourism promotion and innovation development in Pencoku Sumo district, it becomes an obstacle for tourists who will vacation to get access to information in various ways, especially in the tourism sector. The obstacles that are often experienced by the community are such as the difficulty of finding the, the location of tourist attraction, the absence of an online system or online booking, so that traveler from outside the area feel disappointed when they arrive at the place to let or the tourist attraction are full of visitors. Therefore, we create an application contour which provides various updated information about tourism in Pontokusumo village. Okay, next slide is nine component of business model. First, the value proportion. The value proportion, there is the product we offer are in the form of information service that can help business people around tourist attraction in Pontokusumo. Second, make it easier for tourists who will visit Pontokusumo with complete information related to tourism in Pontokusumo. Third, there is feedback in the form of for its tourist spot. Or can order through the apps and open navigation so you won't get lost. And then tourists can inquire about attraction with business owner directly. And then a customer segment. In the customer segment, there is a people who want to travel around Pontokusumo and content creator. Next is channel. In the channels, there is website, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Ads. Okay, next information will be explained by my partner. Okay, 
Their customer relationships is kind of the four P's and customer relationships has a really interesting interaction with this other three pieces. It basically says how to get customers, how to keep them, and how to grow them, and just lighting about distribution channels. So our customer relationship for this business are great stories and posts in the feed on the app and giving start that testimonials. The fifth thing is revenue stream. How do you actually make money from your product or service being sold to customer segments? Revenue stream basically asks the question, what value is the customer paying for? And then actually has to think about what's the strategy of, so you finally understand what the right revenue stream and revenue model is. So our revenue streams for this business are from the many users who use this application and from the division of cooperation with business actors who collaborate with this application. The sixth thing is the key research. What do you need to make the business model work? What assets are important? And what is an example of an asset? In a key resource, we will finance what do you need in capital? Do you need a line of credit some assets are and resources are praying? Or do you need physical plan to? So you need key resource. For this business are Google Maps, Pontor application, and software engineering. The seven pieces is the key partners and suppliers and partnerships are kind of interesting is we need to ask ourselves before what's the deal is what exactly are we acquiring from partners. Also, what activities are they going to perform and when? This is where startups sometimes make a mistake of thinking well, large company do partnerships. So our key partners for this business are patents to acquire or protect. We need to acquire customer lease or or is it just that we need to get great people, great software programmers in a specific area or great hardware designers? Business actors around tourists like logging business owners, restaurants, travel agents, governments, tour guides. And then finally, again, at the interaction between intellectual and human capital is that another key resource. What specifically do you need to do to keep these people and who are they? Next, next pieces is the key activities. What's the more important things do you need to do for the business to make the business model work? Are you in the production business? You know, are you making sometimes or something you need to problem solving business to think what are the key activities you need to become expert at. So our key activities for this business are marketing through social media, advertise and explaining information about tourist attraction. And then finally, all this, all this adds up on the left hand side offer here to cost what are the costs and expenses to operate the business model. One of the interesting things about cost is not just the obvious one, like people or buildings or materials, what you're really gonna be asking for what are entire costs to operate your business models and what to think about what are the most important costs. You need to worry about what the most important expensive resource you're gonna to need to pay for and what key activities are the most expensive. And then you want to ask the typical accounting things, what are fixed costs and what are, and what are variable costs are the economy of scale and you want to start getting a good handle on what is that will end up costing you money to run your business. So our cost structure for this business are website maintenance costs, application development costs, cooperation costs with Google Maps, employee salaries, promotion costs, and emergency costs for updating application. Okay, then for 
the full appearance for our application, my partner will explain it. Okay. Next. This is a front screen view of our application where you can see the name of our application is Pontur, Pontokusumatur. Then next. There is a menu option, booking ticket, booking hotel, restaurant, and more like your voucher and promo. Uh, there is a hotel reservation menu, hotel booking menu provide information related to hotel reservation that will be ordered by visitor. The discount menu provides information about the discount that applied on the day. Next. Nah, don't worry if you get lost when going to tourist attraction because in phone tour, there is a navigation tool that will assist in visitors in showing the right way to the destination. The ticket menu for tourist attraction provides information about the tour and also ticket prices that can be ordered directly. Then, this is the feed menu can be used by visitors who already have a pond tour account to review to review tourist attraction that have been visited on Ponjokusuma tour. Visitors can share photos, videos, or stories that can be seen by user. So that was the explanation about the business model canvas of our business. Yeah, uh, Pontur, thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.